Today, my lazy ass is finally installing a doser. I just need to know Cause since you've been gone No, I can't move on What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today, we're gonna be installing this auto dosing pump on my Red Sea Max 250. I'm finally getting around to it. I don't dose as I'm supposed to. I'm sure many of you guys already know this, but I'm trying to get things a little bit more popping in the tank. So that's what we're gonna do. I went with the DP3 rather than the DP4 for J Jacquard is, is the brand. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn those notifications on. We have new fish videos every single Friday and van builds videos on Sunday. So check that out if you're into kind of like building stuff. Anyway, uh, before we get into the actual building, let me give you a little tank update over here. So right off the bat, you guys might notice that something is missing. My humongous GSP rock. I have gotten rid of it. I know, I loved it too, but it already started spreading to this rock. It, look at it. It's on the back of the pump, so it had to go. It sucks right now, but it will be better in the long run. I have started fragging out some of my stuff that's overgrowing. Gotta make a little bit of guap here. I also picked up some Astrea snails, I can't pronounce it. I picked up like 20 of those. They've been helping me out with the glass a little. I think I'm gonna get another 20. They're super cheap and they do a good job. So maybe if I, if I double up the dosage, then they'll, uh, then they'll help me out a bit more. I have also been looking for an MP10. I have not been able to find one. See maybe about putting it over here and adding some more flow. So that's pretty much it. All right, back to the doser. Shout out to Eat Sleep Reef for the majority of the inspiration on this. And then Jason helped me out with a little bit of other stuff. But basically, we're gonna be doing the Voss water bottle containers as the containers for the dosing pump. It's a little bit of a DIY with drilling some holes and vents and stuff like that in here. And then we have the check valves and we also have the bulkheads that will feed into the tops of these. Do you know how hard it was to find these 800 milliliter bottles? It was hard enough to find the Voss bottles in general. I literally went to Target, Walmart, I called gas stations, I went to gas stations, I went to the dollar store, nobody had them, Publix had Voss bottles, but they were plastic and they were like the short ones, which I was going to use. And then literally I picked them up at Publix. And when I got home, my mom said, oh, I got you something. And she found these at the liquor store. So the 800 mils of the Voss bottles are at the liquor store. Just before I started this video, I went ahead and cleared off all of the Voss labeling on here. I did leave the 800 milliliter mark at the bottom. You know me, I have a Dory memory. So knowing how big these water bottles are helps a bit. So those are clean and ready to go. I just rinsed them. There was already water in them, but I just rinsed them out. I was going to mount this pump on the inside of... Let me show you what I was originally going to do. Okay, Red Sea has this big hole. I was originally going to... The previous owner had screws in here because they had like a fan since they had a chiller. I don't run the chiller. So I was going to put like a... I forgot the name of it. A strip across. Two strips. And then I was going to mount it here and switch the way the nozzles were going. But then Jason was like, well, all my electrical is in here, which you don't really want something dripping just in case onto the electrical. I have both my shelves over here. I do have them pretty used up, but if I could combine them, then I could just pull one of these shelves over. All the electronics will go on top. The doser can then just be right here on the shelf and it could drop right down to the Voss bottles right here. So that is what I'm going to do. I just need to kind of take all this stuff out and combine it to be able to do that. Was it just me? Was I in too deep? Did you mean what you said? Did you say what you mean? That took me so much longer than I anticipated. First of all, it was dirty as shit down there. We gotta, we gotta move here on the doser because I'm about to give up on the doser. Just kidding, I'm not, but look, check it out. I moved the Radeon boxes up. The wires are back there, they could use a little, they're in circles, but it's such a tight spot that it looks like a ball of spaghetti. Now it is finally time to start building the DIY doser. This is the stuff I got. I got the doser, I got the water bottles uh, that I cleaned clear of the stuff. I have the bulkheads, valve checks, the lids, airline tubing, the RO tubing, and then this is where I screwed up already. So this is a, the tube holder so that I could latch on the back. This plastic piece is too long, so 
it hits the thing before it gets flush. I found these little suction things on Amazon. I'm hoping they will work. It's a little bit, it's actually way more sketchy than this, but maybe I'll put two of them on there or something and I don't know. Maybe. A little awkward, huh? I'm too high for you guys. <laughs> and now I'm too low. I can't get this right. Now the question becomes, do I want the black cap or the gray cap to be out? I'm gonna say the gray is gonna be my elk. Let's work on that one first. Okay, so you can see that there is a little center hole in the middle of the cap. That is where we're gonna drill the hole. Are you running with the same crew? Get another tattoo, loving somebody new. Well, this is proving to be an extended project over and over again. So of course, I only have drills up to a half inch which is this hole right here. The bulkhead that's supposed to go in here is just just a wee bit bigger. So I can't, I can't get that in there. I have to put these aside for now and go borrow a drill from Jason. But what we can do is make our tubing length for the inside and we could do the, the check valves. So check out how the bottom of the tube is cut 45 degrees because when it goes on the bottom of the tube, if it's flat, you, you obviously don't, you want to make sure it gets everything and it doesn't stop sucking and get air. We want to do a few inches to go into this check valve. So we'll do something like straight and he's nice and locked in there. So then it's going to go from the bottom into this guy. All right, now let's do the uh, calcium one. So this is how we're looking now. These are pretty much all I could do today until I get those holes. So I'm gonna go get those done. Getting kind of late, so I'll just wrap this video up tomorrow and we'll finish the dosing system. We'll turn it on, we'll calibrate it. We'll get it all up and running. Now would be a good time to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on for new fish videos every Friday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What is going on guys? We are back and we're gonna finish this freaking dosing setup. So yesterday, Went to Jason's house, got the uh, bigger drill bit that was needed to finish this hole. For reference, I believe it was a 5 8 hole. So these guys are ready and the bulkhead fits in here nice. Now we can get the RO tubing that we need from this bulkhead connected together to complete the inside containers. We're going to get this guy. Maybe cut off a hair, but not too much. Just a wee bit. Pop this guy in here. Oh, did I just screw this up? Ah, oh, I did screw it up. This isn't gonna fit. Shit. Solution found. What I was able to do was use the push connect and now I just need to recut this little bottom piece. So this time I'll do it a different way. So that's clearly not long enough. I need like an inch on this. That should be good. I feel like I'm closing up a time capsule. We have little gaps at the bottom with our 45 degree angles. They're good. We have the check valves in here. We have the bulkheads on here. I just need to make a little vent on each of these caps. The little vent holes are in place. This one's a little close, but it should be fine. A couple of people said to take off these heads and just double check that you don't have any kinks in here. I think Jason said when he took his apart, two out of his four, were kinked. So you basically just pop out these little white things and the top comes off and then you can pop this guy out. All three of mine were pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them back on now. I think it's time to figure out how much RO line I need to go from the holders to the doser. Days go by, but the nights go slow. Ride the high just to fight the low. Said I'm fine, but I'm just so so. Pull them back off. Goodness. I'm going to use super glue. Put it on this little bump a dump here. Make sure you don't put it too high to the tip because obviously you don't want to close it. That looks pretty good. Gotta do the same thing to the to calcium one. The uh, project that keeps on giving. My airline tubing is not going to be long enough for two setups. I have an eight footer. I thought I was going to be able to split them four and four, but considering I have to send the doser line all the way across the tank to freaking BFE, I need like six feet of line per side. So I need to do a Walmart run, 
and pick up another line. And then we could finally freaking calibrate this thing and be done with it already. Done, done. This pump is really kicking my ass. All right, I'm back and I've had enough of this doser. I'm ready to get this shit done. So I was gonna super glue these regular aquarium tubing uh, ones, but I couldn't even get them back off. I was pulling like with all my might and they are like super on there. So those aren't super glued. Hope they don't leak. Plug this guy into the bulkhead. So we have our setup here. This is just RO. I'm going to run the system and then I have this whole line uh, for pump one rolling all the way through into this container here where I can measure 100 mils or whatever. And we got lights. We need to prime the line because there is nothing in here. To do that, we go left and then it says hold okay. And it's spinning. Oh, there we go. We're getting some liquid going slowly through the line. You can see all the air bubbles. I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'm going to kind of like flick this and see until I could get or see no more air bubbles in the line. Pump one, air bubbles, check. Now it's time to calibrate. Fluid 100 milliliters, 189 up to start and then when it gets to 100 mil i'm supposed to click up again and that will be the calibration so we'll see more than halfway 174. now that that's saved i'm gonna set up the timer for a minute and put it to dose like 50 milliliters or something and make sure that it is accurate the manual says zero means no dosing but the review said zero actually means one dose every day. Yay! All right, it's dosing, it's filling up, and now to see if it stops at 30. Heck yeah, dude. I adjusted the calibration, it was at 174 before, I bumped it up to 178. Now we're getting right on that line. So I think this one is good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process for the other one, then I'll show it to you guys in the tank setup. I can't make this shit up. I literally just snapped the inside of this lid because apparently I think I'm the freaking Hulk. Now I'm trying to super glue it so that it could actually close. What a pain in the ass. All right, so that's where the doser is gonna be, but the super glue didn't work on the lid. So of course I have to do this whole bottle again at a later date and time. That's basically how this is gonna run. I'm also not cutting these yet because I'm waiting for those clips that go in the back to, to work. And then I'm gonna run these under, but I'll show you guys that another week because I mean, the doser's pretty much set up. I'm just not gonna have it running until that stuff is, is going. But basically, yeah, that clear wire will go through the back. And then when I get those clips, I'll clip it there. That doser really kicked my ass, but it's finally calibrated. It's ready to go. All I need to do is, you know, just do the whole freaking bottle over again. That's gonna do it for this Fish Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all had a happy new year. You know, lots of fish to you guys in 2021 and coral growth and all that kind of stuff. Super excited to finally have this doser set up. Can't wait till it's actually like all tidy. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on for new fish videos every single Friday. Also, don't forget to check the link in the description for your assaulted merch. And we'll see you guys next week. Later. No, let's do let's do the water bottles first. Yeah. Well, that's good. At least it's on there nice and tight. Wait.